King Kong Club is a, uh, is a performance where you enter um, a room completely dressed as a monkey. So the whole audience is dressed the same. And we're creating a film. Uh, in the first half, we're shooting a film with, this, with the audience. And in the second half, they see the film. They see the film they did, they did work on. And the first idea was more or less um, to make a performance um, where everyone is the same, where we kind of start that everyone looks the same, uh, there's no b uh, difference between sex or, or sexes or, or skin color, gender. Uh, um. I think there was also this desire to create some kind of utopian place, you know, where you could be anything you want to be or you ever wanted to be. It's like, you know, everybody can play the hero, everybody can play the, play the heroine, everybody can be in a rock band, everybody can have an orgy. Things you never do maybe in real life, but there it's kind of like, an, it's an exceptional place and you could in, actually try things out and stay anonymous <laughs> while doing this. So that was kind of like the beginning idea to create this kind of quite surreal, exciting, utopian place, which, yeah, where you can actually be these things and try these things. <laughs> so you root it back in something very basic, very kind of, you know, with basic needs as well. Like we all want, you know, food, drink, sex <laughs> to survive more or less. <laughs> it's a big part of, of, uh, of Gob Squad work where that we work with audience or that we work with uh, interactive situations on the streets for example we did a lot of projects where we are um, interacting with people from the streets like passers by things like this um, and uh, this this project king kong club is um, following on from another project called say it like you mean it somehow where the audience were also the main part the main stars in it more or less where it was a show about um, surviving the end of the world together that's why we don't really do theater we don't really want to repeat the same thing every night we are not really into that so that's why we we incorporate these elements of, of risk and reality into our work and mm -hmm make it yeah make it make it happening in our society it's very it's very rare that you can uh, uh, meet someone else without having all these prejudice mm -hmm. from the first impression you get and when you meet someone in the same costume you you get rid of all this so it's much more about identity and uh, for example they are performing in a cliche so they're making a love scene there's a man and a woman meeting and kissing but underneath this could be two women or it could be two men it could be a black guy and a, and a white guy or whatever and then we put voices on top which are even more kind of changing it a personal story from someone recorded in the night so every night the recordings are different. But also in the recordings we make another twist. They say I, but, in, but actually they're talking about their fathers or their mother or a star or whatever. So it's all about this identity. Uh, you get a kind of an identity circle. It's first your, your appearance, then it's your story, then it's imagining being someone else. This is all a topic in a way. You could say that's, that's political because in our society there's so much about... Um, identity and being an individual, mm. being very special, look very special. And, and it's fun to, to deal with these cliches. I think the recording is a very special situation because you are very, it's very intimate, I think. I, I also sometimes do this part. And it's very, very, on a very one-to-one -one intimate kind of situation. Also, the whole sound of, you know, with these headphones and you are very, very much, in a way, thrown back to yourself and, and you're, talking about very intimate things. Normally you go to a cinema and then all this work is done beforehand. They're creating a film and it's very expensive and you don't know the actors and, and you don't know the story and, and everything. And then you enjoy it, you eat popcorn to it. But here it's so, in a way, uh, the new economy in a way. You have to do your own uh, entertainment. You have to even come to the theater, work for one and a half hours, and then do your own premiere. And I like this idea behind it, even if I can understand that people might have a problem working in a theater and doing some stuff and being put on costumes and everything. But at least when you went through this one and a half hours, you get a really great result. You, you see a very strange and funny film which you created and you have been put your sweat in. I think it's really true what Bastian says about that people often who, you know, 
who are very used to to just sit and judge, mm. they are the hardest audience, of course, because they they you know like reviewers and who are so used to just have their notebook and be so far away from the whole process of the art, but they're just there to judge the result. And this show, of course, is like process and product in one. And you know, without the process, you don't get a product. And and that's another very political thing about it, I think, that you really, it's its one. And But then later in the product, you can see yourself and you, you know, you've been part of this product.